Nestled in the western part of Riverside County is one of the best kept secrets of Southern California. The Gavilan Hills Plateau embodies a topography of rugged hills, majestic canyons, arroyos, and vast open spaces that sustains the endangered native wildlife and biodiversity. The plateau is a critical land link to the neighboring Cleveland National Forest and a wildlife habitat containing exquisite wildflowers, unique rock formations, traces of ancient mining operations, rock shelters from a previous time, bountiful streams, and beautiful ponds. The Gavilan Hills Plateau includes many areas of awe-inspiring beauty. The Gavilan Peak, located in about the center of the plateau, the Estelle Mountain area, located in the southwest part of the plateau, and to the east, the Harvard Springs Park. Looking out from the top of Gavilan Peak, one witnesses the open space and limitless vistas of the surrounding areas. It's easy to see why the plateau was named after this peak. The extensive coverage of wildflowers, birds, the scenery, all contribute to the inspirational beauty of the plateau. The Estelle Mountain area is also blessed with bountiful scenic merit. Beautiful lakes, extensive wildflower coverage, waterfalls surrounded by steep rock formations, The Harvard Springs Park is an actual recreation area maintained by the Riverside County Parks Department. As with the other areas of the plateau, it is rich with environmental splendors, wildlife, cascading waterfalls over unique rock formations, caverns, juniper groves as far as the eye can see. Many unique animals of sensitive, threatened, or endangered species make their home on the plateau. In particular, the bobcat, the granite spiny lizard, the Stevens kangaroo rat, which is endemic to western Riverside County and the Kino checkerspot butterfly, also endemic to the plateau and listed under the Endangered Species Act. Helping to maintain the habitat of these magnificent creatures and the other threatened species of the plateau is a wildlife migratory route which extends north from the Cleveland National Forest up to the Gavilan Hills Plateau. But yet, all is not peaceful on the Gavilan Hills Plateau because the existence of these animals and the wildlife is being threatened. And the reason that this is happening, a lack of concern and respect for the plateau exemplified by certain areas of the plateau used as a dumping ground, graffiti on some of the rock formations, encroaching housing developments, and parallel with urbanization is street and highway development. For the time being, success at preserving the plateau has halted interstate highway development. Abandoned tires and mattresses in the Temesco Creek area serve as sad examples of littering and dumping. This retouched, altered photo of a cave entrance in Harvard Springs Park is actually plagued with graffiti and these beautiful waterfalls in the Estelle Mountain area 
also show the signs of disrespect. Look carefully at the top right hand side and the lower left of the rock formations as the graffiti appears. A big concern of local residents and concerned citizens is the never-ending fear of construction and encroaching housing development as seen in the northwest part of the Gavlin Hills Plateau. From the interest of concerned citizens and with the support and participation of corporate sponsors, an effort has developed to promote the concept of clean air and open space on the plateau. This is being done by proposing that a series of community information stations be constructed at strategic locations throughout the plateau. Each of these information stations will be powered using eco-friendly technologies. Solar energy will be the basic energy source and will power the electroluminescent lighting for each station. For some of the information stations, the solar energy will be used to power electrical charging systems for eco-friendly electric vehicles. Transmitted from each of the community information stations will be information about the plateau that cell phones and PDAs will be able to receive. This photograph shows the proposed locations of the community information stations located on the Gavlin Hills Plateau. This is the basic information station which features the solar panels. This is an artist's rendering of the station with electrical vehicle charging capabilities. In review, each of these community information stations will be powered by solar energy which will provide an energy-efficient, eco-friendly, electroluminescent lighting for the sign information. And at some of the stations, there will be electrical vehicle charging systems. Each of these stations will transmit information about the surrounding plateau area to help raise awareness. Mobile phones, Blackberries, iPhones, PDAs can then receive the information as an interested party drives or walks by the station. Even if you're on a horse, you can still receive the information on your cell phone. What can you do to help? Get involved. Support the local organizations dedicated to the preservation of the Gavilan Hills Plateau.